Hello, everybody. It is time for some can yeah. International Film Festival coverage. Trevor here, joined by Thomas. We're getting into festival season. We did this every single day, coverage of um, Venice and TIFF Venice last TIFF, year. Yep. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing every day. If not, we might miss a day or two here and there. But like, Yeah, there's not always day. important stuff on every yeah. day, but there's a lot of important stuff here at Cannes. So a lot of daily coverage for you, which should be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of videos. We've been on a bit of a break recently, but school's wrapping up. We're, we're, we're yeah. going to get into some can coverage. It's very exciting. Um, and today we had the opening night festivities night. and uh, the opening night film. The opening night film, historically, pretty bad. <laughs> um, yes. And yeah. this year we had My Wins, Jean Duberry, uh, attracting a lot of attention because of its star. Um, a very controversial figure in Johnny Depp. Yes. Yeah. Um, and looking at the review so far, it upheld the tradition of being not so great. Interestingly, this is one of the sort of films that probably would generated the most talk. Not the most buzz, but the most talk out of Cannes. So it is clearly a pointed decision. Perhaps they want to get some eyes on Cannes Film Festival. I don't know. Maybe they that was a decision why this was. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, this definitely felt like a targeted sort of decision to let, yeah, let's do this one, which is clearly going to push talk going to be divisive and it has been it's not disappointed in that regard yeah i mean it's it's got people talking i mean there was already a bit of controversy uh this morning with like a press conference and people trying to get brie larson to be like i'm not supporting yeah. the johnny depp movie and it's just it's so stupid just like she, she's not even in competition film why are we asking brie larson no. why are you asking the most famous woman on stage yeah. this question it's so obvious it's so pointed and then indy wire running with their article about it, like yeah i know she literally said I'm basically not giving you an answer because why do you need one from Brie Larson? Right. I don't know. And they run with an article anyway. I don't know. It's trying to get headlines. You can just see exactly what they're doing. They've got their headlines out of it. Sure. Cool. Can we move on now? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. But anyways, let's get into the film. Uh, yes. It's currently sitting, uh, the, re the reviews just dropped a couple of hours ago. It's currently sitting at a 3.3 in Letterboxd. Not great. Not great. Um, it's not but... great. Letterboxd is interestingly a bit higher than a lot of other things. A lot of people seem to be sort of leaning mixed negative, it seems, right. as a general consensus. Like, there's not many reviews I've seen that are flat out bad. Like, they're saying, oh, it's atrocious or anything like that. It just seems to be mixed negative. Yeah, yeah. So if we if we look at a couple of people that you may be familiar with in the award space, uh, Emma Sasek of Next Best Picture seemed to like it, gave it a three and a half, um, saying that John DeBerry is an epic Rex to Riches story, really liked My Win's performance um liked uh, her chemistry with Depp uh she seemed to think it worked Matt Nagley also next with picture on the other hand um wasn't as into it uh yeah. said that it was just boring <laughs> um and that my man Johnny Depp did not have chemistry said that Depp's French was uh comically distractingly what? bad um yeah. <laughs> Matt, Matt really went in for it um and uh, it said gorgeous looking costumes but an empty history lesson with very little to care about um, harsh from Matt, uh, the Oscar expert, uh, another Oscars YouTuber may be familiar with, um, said the, uh, gave it two stars, said the movie begged for me to cry for a character. It didn't give me a reason to give a shit about. Yeah. So and, not the most positive of, in terms of the biggest sort of people in the award space, not the most positive thing, you know, mm -hmm. I guess it's not that unexpected though. It never really looked like something that would be the biggest thing. It never really looked at like something that was going to be that interesting. Yeah. I always felt it, it was going to be okay. It could end up being a boring period drama and that has that has seemed to be basically what it people is. are saying so, it's a boring period you know, drama so yeah. let's let's take a look at metacritic listen of course it's indie wire that's the top i'm not gonna point anything but i just think it's funny but uh, even though on metacritic. yeah even though that's the top 67, 67 is not it's not great it's like yeah. you're you're going positive but you could be going negative Right. It means just barely in the positive. A 51 oh, is like sorry. pretty bad though. Like a 51 mm. is pretty bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, even the, more frustrating than a misfire. Um, yeah. The, the Guardian, Peter Bradshaw didn't love it. Peter uh, De Bruges uh, from Variety also was not into it. Even getting into like the 40s with like the Telegraph. Yeah. Um, and like, listen, it, it's it's two controversial figures in Johnny Depp and Mai Wen. Two very, mm. very controversial figures uh, in their countries, respectively. And, like, listen, you can make the argument that that's playing into it, but the fact that there's, like, no positive... Like, I haven't heard anybody be, like... Like, the top I've seen, like, Emma yeah. Sassik with the 7, this with the 67. Nobody's like, yeah. I love this movie. Um, no. And it's just a lot of just people saying it's, it's dull, the chemistry doesn't work, it has its moments. Yeah. But it's just... Uh, nothing yes it just seems to be a pretty deflated opening on the whole yeah which again 
I think is is let's be honest, kind of to be expected with Can. Yeah. Um, their their openings are traditionally not the best. I don't think that there's really anything else to say here. People no. just aren't loving this movie. It, it's it's yeah. plain and simple. People aren't loving this movie at 51 on Metacritic. Listen, we're looking through this film festival type of stuff to look at awards potential. We are. I I'm, I don't not this it. one. <laughs> not this one. No, no, not at all. Even though people are saying the costumes and are great or whatever, the production design makes good. Corsage that happens the all the time. That happens all the time with period dramas, yeah. and they just if they're not good, people don't watch them. Like no one is going to care about this in the next week. I yeah, it's just going to be a nothing game to do. Absolutely. So that's really all we have to say. Not too many interesting things to start this off. Uh, tomorrow, yeah. though, some stuff to look forward to. Um, here at Kaza Corey, it is new movie, Monster. Uh, coming off Should of the back of um, Broker, which I didn't really love. I uh, didn't really pick up a lot of steam. But, I mean, the man made shoplifters. Exactly. Brilliant exactly. movie. So, so we have that to look forward to. Um, Onslim, the new Wim Vendors movie. The, uh, very excited about that. I mean, director of Paris, Texas, and, like, Wings of Desire. Like, lots of great stuff there. Um, Pedro Almodovar's new short film, Strange Way of Life. Um, oh, I didn't the, realize that was okay. Interesting. The gay interesting. cowboy movie with Pedro Pascal and Ethan Hawke. Yeah. Like, yum, yum, yum. Um, <laughs> and then um, Steve McQueen, uh, his documentary, Occupied. Yes. Disney. Yeah. Also very interesting. Um, there's a couple other things, but like four pretty interesting stuff there. I'm I'm most interested to hear about um, the new Korea film and the new Vim Vendors film. Yeah, those I think those are, those are the big movies. things. To, yeah, those are definitely the big things to look out for there. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Because, yep. you know, there's a lot of coverage to come. There's a lot of interesting stuff. It's a shame today was not, you know, not the most interesting, but there's a lot yeah. of content here. So, yeah. Oh, absolutely, exciting. absolutely. And then on Thursday is Indiana Jones. So, like, exactly. we're going to be That's heating up pretty quickly. Coming. Yeah. We're going to be heating up pretty quickly. I mean, yeah. we got Zone of Interest about their grasses. I mean, Blood, there's so many different. stuff. Yeah. Killers lots of things. things. Yeah. Lots of things. But lots to look forward to um that's that's basically everything though uh that we we have to report on um with jean Duberry. nothing today uh, nothing of note today nothing to add to the list um but what are you excited for from can what do you think of these reactions out of jean Duberry? um it's yes that's stay around for more can coverage uh like if you, if you think you'll enjoy can coverage stick around it it'll, it'll be fun i promise i think it'll be fun i think uh thank you everybody for watching uh you can find all of our social media links twitter letterbox etc tiktok all in the description uh and until next time thank you everybody for watching stay safe and goodbye